The six-year-old mare, Princess Kala, swept all before her last season, being rewarded with the title of Equus Horse of the Year. But with each new season comes the emergence of new stars in the three-year-old fillies Beach Bomb and Red Palace. Beach Bomb won the Hollywood Bets Cape Fillies Guineas on December the 2nd. Red Palace was scratched that day, having been unwilling to load. But two weeks later, it was a different story, with her running second, this time against the Colts in the Hollywood Bets Cape Guineas. It's the young taking on the old in the Grade 1 Cartier Paddock Stakes on Saturday. The queen of our turf, Princess Keller, has had two runs back since the start of the new season. 350 meters after the rain, starting to run on weary legs. Deep route, King Regents and Princess Callas taking off down the center and countdown is putting in a big effort in between runners. At the moment, is King Regent countdown. Princess Keller deep route, Princess Keller, King Regents. King Regent with his head in front, Princess Keller. King Regent just holds on from Princess Keller. Third and fourth got very close. Countdown of Rio Karori. Deep route we had after the rain and we can go all night. She then came out in the Grade 2 Greenpoint Stakes over 1,600 metres early in December, where she stripped a leaner and fitter horse. Second place is Princess Keller and see it again. Here the three that we came to see, but see it again came into the lead. Yes, Charles Dickens on the ropes. Then comes Princess Keller and at my command, but what a performance from see it again. That is out of the top draw. What a prep. See it again has beaten at my command. Charles Dickens ran third and Princess Keller was fourth. This will be her third run after a rest and should be cherry ripe. It looks to be the young versus the old as they line up in the Grade 1 Cartier Paddock Stakes on Saturday. Beach Bomb has won three from five. She broke her maiden at the second time of asking, winning again the next time out in the listed World Sports Betting Iridescent Stakes over 1,500 meters. 200 meters left to go, and Royals now taken on by Beach Bomb. Passion Doll third, October Morn got some work to do as Beach Bomb now kicks into the lead, and Beach Bomb draws away. Beach Bomb impresses. Second goes to Royals, Passion Doll was third. She finished second in her penultimate start when coming from off the pace. Beach bomb nearest us, then comes Summer Lily in between them. It's Royals by one length. Summer Lily is second, then comes Beach Bomb. Secret identity flattened, but Royals from start to finish gonna lead all the way. Royals has won. Second went the way of Beach Bomb, then came Summer Lily and Secret Identity. Last time out on the 2nd of December, she landed the Grade 1 World Sports Betting Cape Phillies Guineas over the mile. Raskova in front by two lengths, Secret Identity, and here comes Beach Bomb, quickening with Silver Sanctuary. Silver Sanctuary takes the lead close home, Beach Bomb in the run down to the wire, Beach Bomb got the better of Silver Sanctuary. Great race. Unbelievable, I knew she was well, the way she turned around down the straight, like a filly that only Candace trains can do it. She was a long way back today. She had a lot of ground to make up and uh, she, she quickened up well today. Miss Philly had all the gears and she's improving and I told Kevin that one thing she's got that she, I don't think she's anywhere close to a ceiling yet so it was very impressive today. Candace Bass Robinson also trains Red Palace who has won two of her last three, breaking her maiden in August. Red Palace is out in front. Just in behind that go like flow is trying to make a race of it. Donna Mo has come off the fence, she's trying to run on and could it be is coming home strongly in the centre of the course and it's could it be full of running as they come to the final 150 who's out in front down towards the inside. Red Palace is still hanging on and it's Red Palace who's well clear. Red Palace, the battle only on for the places. Red Palace easy. I loved her at the sales. I thought she was a lovely filly and we took her out and she was unfortunately lame, so they took her back home again. I said to Mark, you know, please <laughs> find and find out what they're doing with her because uh, I really liked her at the sales. She just looks so athletic and, uh, you know, she showed that she does, she has ability at home as well. So I think she'll have a nice, bright future ahead of her. And obviously a very good win from her today too. She won her next outing, also going the mile. 300 meters left to run, Red Palace got first run, got a commanding lead into the final 200. Matar second, wind run up towards the inside, but Red Palace is far, 
far in front. It's a procession for Red Palace. Afforded the luxury of gearing down, she'll be the only horse in the picture. Red Palace has one in style. When she won her maiden here, she was very impressive, and she's only come on from there. So, as I say, the way she did it today was super impressive. With the difficulties of her not wanting to load and missing races having been overcome, she put in an eye-catching run against the Colts in the Grade 1 Hollywood Bates Cape Guineas three weeks ago. As they reached the final 300 metres, Snow Pilot Red Palace, tail of the Comet, ran his race. Zil Marie was further back. Then comes Green with Envy and questioning. Shishlui still got three to make up, but the Philly Red Palace in front, pressed by Snow Pilot. Green with Envy and Shishlui late on the scene. Red Palace, Snow Pilot. Pilot, Snow Pilot grabbed the lead and Snow Pilot ran down Red Palace. Third got close, Shishlui's involved with Green with Envy. Anthony Andrews, Red Palace, whoa, what a run. Unbelievable, Amy. For the last two weeks, I don't think I've slept much. I'm trying to get her and show Case what she can actually do. So there was no prep into this, it was all schooling. If I had a gallop or a run, they don't catch me. You think you added sort of one at the 300? Yeah, she did everything right. She's got such a high cruising pace that that's her advantage. It was a good pace on. I don't mind uh, sitting second. She did everything right. She built up in the straight going through the 400, pressed the button. She gave it to me and uh, I just got caught the last 50. Anthony, thanks very much. Whilst attention is on the Lomorans King's Plate come Saturday, the Cartier Paddock Stakes promises to be an equally exciting race in the making.